part of a whole as well. Yes. I mean, a- another thing that we've spoken about before when, when we've been preparing a show is the meditative, qu- the, me- the meditative quality of the space, particularly when you were in there perhaps very early mornings or late evenings um, when it was empty, so you could get these shots. Um, and also the way the photos are laid out, um, the repetition of the actual and the virtual, um, and just a very traditional kind of drawing your eye to a centre point. Um, yeah. You've spoken before that, that that could represent something. I mean, what, what do you feel that's, that says to the viewer? Um, well, the, the meditative quality of the images, I think they do, because everything's drawn to a, the centre point, I think it's it focuses your attention and it brings some sort of clarity to what you're doing because there's there seems to be one place that you're drawn to within the image. And the actual spaces themselves are very, very still um, and grand as well. So it, it, um, I quite like that they have a kind of sacred feeling to them. They're very similar to um, uh, Eastern mandalas. They have this um, kind of semi-religious look to them, which I think is because of the converging lines which all meet in the middle which is very similar to um, the altar designs in lots of different religions mm. um, so I think that kind of gives them some sort of reverence in that way I suppose. Definitely, definitely um, I think next perhaps if we, t- to finish off, if we just talk briefly about what you might be planning for the future um, I know what how I, it's really naughty I suppose because I think sometimes it's difficult as a curator to know um how much to get involved with the work kind Mm -hmm. of if should you advise the artist should you kind of i mean obviously you can tell them how you feel and and the things that you like um but i mean i'm very taken with with your architectural images um your images without people obviously this series the line of flight does work people and place uh, side by side but not together um so i heard you mentioning something um called peak experience um if you could talk a bit about this peak experience uh, and what it's going to be okay um well yeah i'm i'm very um interested in doing more imagery where people and place are very closely linked but they're shown completely separately um and i'm interested in uh ideas of peak experience that some sort of um moment where you uh, reach a level of understanding or something or a level of um, consciousness which you wouldn't necessarily your general level of development is not necessarily at the same level Um, times of like uh, when you give birth or particular drug experiences or um, moments of mass hysteria people kind of get this um, level of understanding or uh, emotion which takes them somewhere else a, a moment of enlightenment yeah or? like a small moment of enlightenment which g- can give you insight and help you develop further I mean it comes from some of the reading uh, I've been doing about um, self-help and uh, all this kind of new agey stuff which I, I really enjoy reading and, and feeds into my work um, yeah and so I'm, I'm looking at spaces that can contain these peak experiences and then also people that are kind of like uh, guardians of this peak experience, people who look after these things. So I'm kind of thinking of what those spaces and who those people might be. But, um, yeah, I'll have to get back to you on that. And finally, all it remains for me to say is thank you for listening. Thank you to Jacob Love for talking about his latest show, Line of Flight. Thank you, Jess. And uh, just a little plug, if you're interested in the show and Jacob has whetted your appetite, please come down this Thursday, the 21st, from 6 till 9 to the private view where you can have a drink and chat to Jacob. Also, the show goes through to the um, 9th of June, so you can pop in any time until then. Please also go along to our website, www.tenderpixel.com, for more information. Um, The gallery is located 10 Cecil Court, just off Charing Cross Road or St Martin's Lane. The nearest tube is Leicester Square. And finally, just to say, Jacob is also releasing a book to accompany the show called Line of Flight. It's a limited edition and signed as well. Um, So thank you for listening again and thank you to Resonance FM.